Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 19. Now we are about five months away from the release of the first beta of iOS 19 and this year actually should be really, really exciting. We already have a few different rumors and reports regarding on new features and changes that are coming to iOS 19 and it looks like it will be a very exciting year for the iOS 19 update. Now, keeping in mind that iOS 18 was actually mostly focused on the AI features and Apple had actually to delay a lot of changes and features for iOS 19, this year iOS 19 should actually be packed with new features and changes. And let's talk about some of those that we already know about and some that have been reported and rumored to come. And of course, we're gonna talk about the release dates for the betas and the public release as well. Now, first off, we're talking about the redesign. iOS 19 is expected to bring finally a new redesign of the user interface on iOS. Now, we basically had the same interface, the same theme or whatever you want to call it, the same style since iOS 7. It actually has changed a bit, but not like a huge change where we get a totally new interface. And it looks like this might be the year when Apple will actually introduce a new interface to iOS 19. Now, even with the camera app, we have a report for this from Mark Gumberg, who is our very trusted source when it comes to this kind of stuff. And according to him, basically the camera app will get a redesign and it should be inspired from the Vision OS that Apple has introduced, of course, with the new Apple headset. So it look, should look something like that. And not just that, if we just take a look at the things that Apple has recently released, like the new Invites app, if you have actually taken a look at the Invites app, it does actually have that design. So you will have all these like kind of overlays, all these like windows that do overlay and have that similar look to actually the Vision, Vision OS. And also the sports app. If you take a look at the sports app, it does work the same way. You can see these tables, things like that. All these are expected to come to iOS 19, but of course will be spread throughout the UI. So expect a totally new interface to come to your device with the new iOS 19, which again will be heavily inspired by the Vision OS interface that Apple has introduced for the Apple headset. Now there will be another feature that it's basically confirmed by now. We actually have been waiting for this feature to come as part of an update of iOS 18, maybe 18.3 or 18.4, but it looks like it won't happen. It has been actually delayed and will come as part of iOS 19. And that's the intelligent battery feature, basically a feature that will allow you to see how much time is remaining until your battery is charged. Now, this is not a rumor. This feature has actually been spotted on the code of iOS 18.2. That's why we have actually been expecting to see this feature release with any of the next updates of iOS 18. But the reports lately are that this feature actually is still delayed and it will be part of iOS 19. So again, with Apple working on the Apple intelligence stuff. And even now with iOS 18.4, we have seen here a delay on the first beta of iOS 18.4 because there's a lot of work that is going on with the new Siri and Apple intelligence features. And a lot of features, as I said, have been delayed and we should see a huge amount of new features coming and changes to the new iOS 19. There will be big changes coming to Siri as well. Now, there are reports that Apple is working on their own LML for Siri, large language model that Apple is working to introduce on Siri with iOS 19. And as you probably know by now, with iOS 18, we have the introduction and the integration of ChatGPT with Siri. And with iOS 19, we might see more large language models included with Siri, maybe things like Google Gemini or something like that. So when you go to Siri, you know, on iOS 18, when you go to Apple Intelligence and Siri, you will have here the extensions. Currently, we only have ChatGPT here where you can enable or disable it, but there's a huge chance that other languages will be supported by iOS 19. So under extensions here, 
of course it says extensions but it's just one hopefully there will be more here with ios 19 so of course you use the one that you need and still will have to wait and see if we'll be able to actually use like both like two or more at the same time but probably that doesn't happen but you should have more llms right here to choose from now another great thing when it comes to ios 19 is the report that ios 19 will support all the current devices supported by ios 18 so if you have a device that does support ios 18 and you have it installed on your device you have to know that your device will still be supported even with the new ios 19. so when to expect ios 19 to be released well of course the schedule will go as usual we'll get the first dev beta then probably like a month or five weeks away from that we will get the first public beta and then a couple of months later we'll get the public release of ios 19 which most likely will go to about eight betas before it goes to the rc version and then gets released to the public so let's take a look at the calendar here and what apple has done the last previous years they usually hold their wwdc conference where they introduce a new ios on the first monday of june and that this year might be june the second so as i said for the last few years the first monday has been the date so this year i'm also expecting apple to actually do the exact same and start wwdc with the conference of course and introduce ios 19 and that day will of course be also the release of the first beta after the conference that should be june the second and then i would expect apple to actually release the first public beta somewhere around here either maybe the first or the eighth of july based on like previous years how apple does things they usually follow like a schedule every year around five weeks from the release of the first dev beta we should get the first public beta as well and of course these weeks right here will go with the betas of ios 19 usually the first three are on a two-week schedule and then we move on to a weekly schedule here until the release of ios 19 to the public and that in my opinion should happen somewhere around here most likely the 15th of august usually apple does like the introduction the presentation of the new iphone on a monday as every year and i would expect apple to actually release the rc version here where they will also present the new iphone and then most likely that phone will go on pre-sale right here on the 19th and will ship out on the 26th leaving the 22nd the date when apple will actually release ios 19 to the public because usually on a monday they introduce the new iphone and then the next monday four days before the iphone ships they will release the new ios version to the public so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did make sure to smash that like button and of course if you want to be informed and keep updated with the new ios 19 news make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you on the next one